Hey there and welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew and today we're talking about how you can make money by teaching a language. I hope you enjoy today's episode and find it helpful. Let's get to it. As I said, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. Today we're talking about how you can make money by teaching a language. Now, if you're somebody who speaks fluent English and is bilingual and is fluent or experienced in a secondary language, whether it's Spanish, German, Chinese, Japanese, or any other language, you can potentially make a fair amount of money to teach someone how to speak a different language, whether it's teaching somebody of the other language how to speak English or vice versa. If they want to go from just being fluent in speaking English to speaking German, Chinese, Spanish, whatever it may be, you can make a fair amount of money to teach somebody how to speak that language. Many language teachers charge by each lesson or they charge for a period of time for those lessons. You could potentially make hundreds to thousands of dollars a year to teach somebody how to speak a language. And why do you want to do this yourself? Well, yeah, there's many different resources out there like Rosetta Stone and Mango and all these other different apps and programs and software to be able to teach a language. But learning from a person is more effective than learning from a machine. When you learn from Rosetta Stone or Mango or any other software based language system, it teaches you the word. It does not give you the way to use it in a perceived sentence. Like if you wanted to say, Consult the Blind Guy is live on YouTube, how would you convert that from a lesson on software into a conceivable understanding to where it actually is pronounced properly on the software. You can't. There's no software out there that I have seen yet when it comes to teaching language to where you can type in a specific sentence or sentences and it will tell you word for word how it should be structured, sound, and be done. Whereas if you have somebody who is bilingual in English and Spanish or English and German or whatever language that is fluent in both, they will be able to translate from that language into the other language contextually how it is supposed to sound and be phrased. Because not every language is specifically as direct as English. For instance, I am a Native American and I am still learning my traditional tribal language. When you read a English sentence, you go from left to right. When you do a tribal language, for instance, like mine being Anishinaabe, we don't go from left to right. Though it is very common with us to still read left to right, the word structure is actually reversed in some cases from right to left because of the way that each word is structured and what they mean, because it is not an exact reference to English. We go in the aspect of actions rather than 
consult a blind guy, you would be mentioning that you are talking to a blind person about something. So the complete structure of that word would be, or that sentence would be much different compared to just consult a blind guy. In English, it's only four words, but in the tribal language, it may be up to 20 words to get that one small sentence. And it's the same thing for multiple different languages around the world, to where it's not as simple to just make a three or four word sentence turn into the same thing in the other language. It may be six, seven words. It might be a string of two sentences to equal that one small sentence. And you're not going to learn that from software that is unable to give you that immediate feedback like you can as a teacher of languages. So I hope this helps you in understanding how you can make a nice amount of money for teaching somebody a different language. And how do you go about making the money? You can have your own social media pages to promote your services. You can have your own website as well as freelancing sites. You can use Fiverr, Rev, Upwork, and many other different online resources to promote your ability to teach somebody a language. Just remember, you're the one that sets your prices and you're the one that's going to have to teach them from whatever aspect level you're going for. Whether it's beginner language lessons, intermediate language lessons, or fluent language lessons, or a variety of all of the above. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos, live streams, and more. And if you want more information on this topic and many others, I highly recommend heading on over to consultablindguy.com slash blog where you can read an article on this as well as everything else underneath the sun for ways for you to be able to make money from home and online. And who knows, maybe you're interested in purchasing a copy of my book, Income Booster, 100 Plus Businesses, You Can Start From Home and Ditch the 9 to 5. There's a link down in the description to where you can sign up to be able to get discounts, updates, and ordering information and more. Until the next time, I hope you have a great day or evening stay safe and we'll see you in the next episode where we cover another way for you to be able to make money from home and online